Hi, I'm Epark from Indie Game Guides. This is my complete walkthrough for Turn It Boy Commits Tax Evasion. That just rolls off the tongue. Now, this walkthrough is going to give you all achievements, all collectibles, all side quests, and uh, pretty much spoil the entire story for you. So, kind of be careful with that if you do not want any spoilers. There are going to be timestamps in the description down below, so that way you can pretty much more easily find where you're stuck in case that you are stuck and not spoil the entire story for you. But anyway, let's get started. First off, take the watering can from the old guy next to the mayor. Talk to the blue guy and water the flower next to him. Give the flower you get to the girl that's below him, to the left, and then go back to the blue guy and you'll get your first hat. After that, we're going to head into the weapon woods to the north of the blue guy, and we're going to follow that path. Now, feel free to talk to the other blue guy along the way. Now, he has a snail in his garden, but we'll help him in a sec with that. Once you find the sword patch, water it with a watering can and grab the sword. Now you're going to head back to the village and along the way you're going to kill the snail in the blue guy's garden, talk to the blueberry and you've got something to rip up. Once back in Veggieville, go to the left. Now on layer lane, follow along the path to the north. In the next area you will find a red barn. Now in the top right there is a trophy you can grab for achievement reasons. Head into the barn and talk to the mayor's assistant. Now once her very long dialogue is over, head out and go south back to Lear Lane. On that lane, talk to the NPC behind the counter. He'll give you a tier 3 sub that the assistant wants. But before you go back to her, be sure to check this garbage can over here, because that has something you can rip up. Once back at the barn, you get access to the first mini dungeon, so just follow the path, check every room for documents to rip up, and kill the boss by rolling bombs at him. Water the plant in the middle to gain an additional health point. Talk to the mayor's assistant if you want to get a crown on your head. Go talk to the mayor at the town and give him his fertilizer. Now before we head into the next mission that the mayor wants us to do, we're gonna head back to the barn. Now once inside, head right, then another right and go up. Talk to the construction worker there and he wants a log of wood in exchange for his construction hat. Go back to the layer lane and go left. Talk to the top blue guy with sunglasses and while you're at it, do the puzzle for the extra hell point. Once that's done, go back to the construction worker and you'll get his hat in exchange for that log of wood. Back at town, we're gonna head south towards the carrot village in the plain plains. Now, next to the house, there is a garbage can. Check it and you'll find the baby. With that child, go back to the weapon woods. Pretty close to the sword patch, you'll find the carrot that'll change the kit for a stool. Now head back to the carrot village and enter the house using the stool. The house serves as a second mini dungeon, but the most important part is that you head towards the most northern room with the monster inside. Kill the monster, open the left door with a bomb and talk to all the NPCs you'll find in those four rooms. Especially twice to the chocolate bar to get a key and the potato in the bottom left room, but I'll explain why later. After that, scout all the rooms in the mini dungeon, complete the missions on the board and kill the boss. Kill the ants, fill a few holes in the ground by pushing watermelons inside of them and bomb the kitty to hell. Now grab the spray paint, turn on the generator and get the fork from the chocolate bar in return for turning on the generator. You may also want to talk to the pickle in the jar above the chocolate bar's room and they'll ask you to go back to the room left of layer lane and this time you need to talk to the carrot with sunglasses. Now this carrot is going to give you a hammer and if you take the hammer to the pickle he'll reward you with a fedora hat. If you go back to the same room a little bit later you'll find a health point waiting for you on top of the broken jar. Now back at the village turn the fork in at the mayor and give the defeated kitty cat to the cat lady in the bottom left corner for your waifu drawing. Also head to the most top right corner of the weapon woods, there you can hand over the spray paint to a graffiti artist for an additional health point. For the third mission, head south to the village and use the entrance above the carrot village that was blocked earlier by the IRS. Be sure to pick up the phone for the girl on the rocky ramp, but the forgotten wood section is actually pretty straightforward. Just plainly follow the instructions of the avocado and take the three different paths. 
Each time these pets are going to end with a fight with a stag, and in the third stage, the stag will be a full on boss fight. Now, mainly you will need to avoid these stag's attacks, and when he charges at you, just lead him to a wall that is a pretty straight line from one of the bombs in the middle. That way, you don't have to use any portals, which are a bit of a hassle. Once the stag is dead, head back to the avocado and you will get a researcher hat. You should also talk to the depressed acorn to the right of her house. He wants to get some real estate. Now for that we need to head over to the layer lane once again. And on the right side there is a real estate agent you can talk to. She'll give you a letter, head back to the acorn and you'll get something to rip up. While you're doing this for the acorn, you should also check the room to the right of the plane's plane for a puzzle you can finally solve using portals. Also be sure to return the phone to the girl on Rocky Ramp and give the mayor his goop. Now for the fourth mission, the laser pointer, we need to head into the weapon woods to enter the bunker. Of course, we can't enter it just yet, so we need to head to the cemetery first. Talk to the potato to open the gates. Once inside, a pumpkin is going to give us riddles to explain which directions we need to go. You need to take the following doors. Up, left, up, right, and up. Once in the final room, just hit with your sword the middle grave and you'll uncover a golden shovel. Now the potato guy will give you his shovel, but before you leave, hit any grave you want with the shovel you just got and you will get a new top hat. In addition to that, also talk to the potato guy again and tell him his dad is alive. Now he'll want you to head to the potato in the ice box in the second dungeon. I told you I would come back to this guy later on. Just head to the ice box, talk to the potato. That potato is going to give his letter. You're going to come back to the cemetery guy in the final room. And once you've delivered the letter to him, he will give you a bird as a hat piece. Then go back to the ice box and talk to his dad again and you will get the farmer's hat. With the shovel in hand, go to the bunker, open him up and scout every room. Get the bottle of hair dye and complete the dungeon. Now this boss fight I found very awkward. Liz will grab you with a hand that you can remove by putting yourself on fire, but you can't melee her. So I defeated her by brushing up to her while I was on fire to set her aflame. And before you know it, you will have a laser pointer. Once the fight is over, just head back to Lair Lane and give the hair dye to the carrot barber. He's gonna give you another cosmetic style, which is basically a bald spot. In the next part, we need to kill the mayor because he's the end boss. Now for that, we need to head inside the underground base by using the hatch behind the old man. The puzzles on the way to the boss are fairly straightforward and so is the boss fight. Avoid his laser attack, the green goo and his mighty fork. On average you can hit him twice after about each attack he does and once defeated he'll give you your deed and the credits will roll. Now once you're back at the main menu you can actually still do quite a few things including a secret boss fight. Enter your save file again by hitting continue and now we're going to do the secret boss fight. First of all head back into the bunker but before you head to the mayor look for the most southern room, descend a few ladders to basement level 3 and there you'll find a nuke. Hit it a few times with your shovel until you die. Now go back to the mayor and kill him again. This time there will be a phase 2 to his fight. Just have some fun with this one because it's a pretty great fight. Now if you followed my instructions you should have found every cosmetic and completed every side quest. But you won't have unlocked all achievements. Because after completing the game you can go to the cave in the Rocky Ramp and you can talk there to a three-eyed cat. If the cat is in the cave, that means that you're missing something. If you talk to him, he will tell you exactly what you're missing but not how to get it. If you found everything, you will find an additional hell point there and get your last achievement for collecting all hell points. And that is basically 100%ing the game. I found it really enjoyable, I hope you found this guide very useful and if you did, please let me know in the comments down below. But guys, I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.